Hello YouTube fans, back again. I know I thought I'd talk about one of my all time favourite films, The Middle of the Town the Right, which in my eyes is a fucking classic. With my favourite actor, I think one of my favourite actors again, Tom Selleck. Now when people think of Tom Selleck, they think of Magnum P.I. Now don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of that TV series from the 1980s. I've practically got all of Magnum P.I.'s. I have it on my hard drive or on my DVDs. I love Tom Selleck. I love him in Magnum P.I. And if it comes to Magnum P.I., I stick to the ones with Tom Selleck and not the shitty remake with some pretty boy wanting to be Tom Selleck. I'd love to see Tom Selleck as Indiana Jones between the biographer that originally he was going to be in there. But Alison Ford got the role, and to be honest, I do like Alison Ford. But if there's ever a time in going to a pastoral universe, we can pronounce that word right, I'd love to see what it would have been like had Tom Selleck would have got the role. But the film I'm on about is, again, Runaway. Sort in 1984, this is a damn good science fiction film. And like again, why the hell is it not on DVD and Blu-ray? in this clumsy because Runaway in my eyes has more imagination it's an action film it's a futuristic film and it's a damn good sci-fi thriller you do have a very long Thursday Adder which asked me wondering whether this was the reason why she did not do the third Star Trek film and it's also a damn good film You've got a psychopath played by Pacific Sins, if you pronounce his name. People don't know who he is because the 70s rock band, Chiss. It hasn't been the first time he's played a villain. He's been a villain in a film called Wanted Dead or Alive with my friend Woodard Hour. May he rest in peace. But in this, I think he's an awesome bad guy. He's definitely evil and he's ruthless. It's based on the future with robots, robots what can come alive and be your everyday surfing. They can also take over your job. And in all fairness, I would not be surprised in the future that will ever fucking happen. Look at work tills, which you can now stand, saving manual labour. I wouldn't be surprised if that does happen in the future. But like anything what's missing there, they can go loopy fucking loop. I've had computers all my life and biddies them out of them events there, laptops and even towers can go fucking loop the loop. Believe me on that, no matter what mate they are. But these robots can go stupid and that's why they have Tom Selleck, who is called a runaway, which is kind of like a special cop what deals with robots what go loop the loop. Pacific Sims, as the bad guy, can corrupt a robot and make it a killing machine and that's what he does he drops his machine it kills the mother of this family and it, lucky enough Tom Selleck comes in to save the day and let's not forget the beautiful beautiful gorgeous partner he has Tiffany Rolls I think her name is I could be right and wrong there I think her name is Tiffany Rolls if it's wrong my mistake sometimes I'm tapping my names but she is a damn good beautiful woman. She's hot, she sets her, and I'd love to have her as a partner if I was a cop. Again, he saves the day, disarms this robot, and that's when they find out they've got a psycho on their hands who wants to make microchips and kill people with them. And give so to the eye of bidder of your dancers and your ruthless deals. So basically it's like a drug dealer, but he's dealing with tips. What can interrupt, as it says in the trailer, your toaster into a killing machine. The producers and directors who did this was only the same one what given us Westworld, another film I love. In all fairness, Runaway didn't win anything because the same year there was in competition with another dud film, that being The Exterminator. Don't get me wrong, I love The Exterminator, and again, got my mate Arnie in it. But, in all fairness, I do like The Runaway. It's expenseful, and there are bits when it feels like an horror film. 
that's what they get the electrical spiders so it's sneaker toss and it makes that cheapy sound one spike in your neck and it produces acid what can make you blow up and i also love the firing body when it moves about the tam that's a pv sort what foils you about and if you itch you you're fucking dead and i like one away and i think tom said it never got the respect a lot of people think of the films, apart from Madden and P.I., they think of Three Men and a Baby. Don't get me wrong, I like Three Men and a Baby. But if it comes to my favourite, Tom said it, I'd either choose this, or I'd choose An Innocent Man. Very unestimated film, I'd be one I'd like to talk about one day. Or I think of Dudley Down Under, which is a Dud Western with him in. That's another one that's unestimated of Tom Selleck's. I'd think of them of his films, but this one? has to be a really damn good one. You've got his son, well not his son in real life, but I'd like to play in his son. You might remember in, if I can remember it, it will come to me. Got it. Fight of the Nafetator. Remember the lad in Fight of the Nafetator that moved about in that machine? The same lad in Fight of the Nafetator to this appeared in this. I don't really want to give away too much, but it is a good film. You've got the moving thing, what moves about, and I do like the pods in it. That reminds me of them Tamna things, what move about, and the, the peace use them. Even Doug dealers use them, but well, that's a different debate. But it just reminds me of them offer tafts, what move about, which you will see a lot in the film. Tuesday Adder gets killed, which I won't say anymore. But from 84, 1984, I would go for one away. It's a damn good science fiction and a damn good action film. Check it out if you can ever find it, because again, it's not on DVD and it's not on Blu-ray. See, Tumpany these days likes to waste money on shit, like Robocock, the remake, instead of making damn good DVDs and films like this, which in my eyes, I think is unestimated. So check out One Away. It's a good one. Has a lot of imagination, has an evil bad guy, and it has a beautiful scene. You're trying to feel for Tom Selleck, he's a good father when he wants to be. And you feel there's going to be a love between Zinfra Rose, his partner, and Tom Selleck. I love the bullets when they move about, and it shows it in a PV shot. And I love the, the imagination for it, robots going mad and killing people. Check it out, and got to love it that much. A 9 star rating. Have a good one.